So anyway, a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, we had a really, really good day yesterday regarding about one of the big winners. We're going to talk a little bit about it, um, ARCI. But just really quick, I just wanted to just cover a couple of things, uh, upcoming events, guys. Hopefully you've been enjoying your phase two classes that are going to be ending today. And then, uh, and then next week, remember, uh, phase three is with me on April, th uh, April 30th to May 1st, where we're going to take everything we've learned and put it to the test. And uh, it's, always, uh, it's always a very new adventure, a new excitement. And, you know, the whole idea is going out there and learning from those, uh, you know, those mistakes that we learned in the past, which is, by the way, I do want to make a little an exception this morning and talk about something very, very specific regarding about, you know, we have a lot of new traders, a lot of new students that come aboard, and I just want to cover that. So um, let me just, uh, before we start getting into, you know, talking about what move, like this great move here in a ARCI that we've traded, that thing was just phenomenal. Like, once again, nothing unusual. Uh, and a couple of the pins trade, you know, the IPO pins, Pinterest, and the, C and the CPRX. I just want to talk about something very important, and, and I need your guys' assistance here, okay? All my students that have been here for more than six months, a year, um, you know, I, I spoke to a student yesterday, a new student, and he was a little discouraged. He was a little discouraged, and I'm not going to bring up any names, and you know, which <laughs> I will never do that. But um, he was getting a little discouraged regarding about he just not he's not getting it after the first month, and not only that, he started trading uh, very very heavily because he's seeing these great opportunities of stocks. And, you know, he's seeing some of these runners and he's chasing it like something like this that went to nine and he's running back down to about seven, eight. And thank God he got out because it went to five. But he's missing in the runs that like when they go from five to nine, like yesterday. And the biggest thing I, I, I was asking him is I, I, I asked him, how many shares are you trading? And right off the bat, he was starting to trade thousand share lots, you know, and. For, for the students that have been here a long time, what is the most important thing that we teach you when you first start out, when you start learning this, the, the theory behind cyber trading adversity? How many shares do we have to trade when you first get started? Steve says one share. That is really, really hard because people compare one share to like demo. And I'm like, you know what? Just trade one share to be in it, right? Very, very small lights, right? Kathleen Lewis, very, very small. 100, Elaine, right? 100 shares. Just start off. Well, his argument was, I can't make money at 100 shares. I can't make money. And, and what do I tell everybody? You're not here to make money on the first, you know, in the first month of trading. You just have to learn to lose money. Losing, you, you need to stop learning from losing money. And you're going to do it. And um, so I want him to, the, uh, you know, him to hear you know, exactly some of your feedback, everyone here, because my next question to everyone is this. When do you feel when, when you'll start being very consistent? How many months does it take you before you think like, oh, now I'm starting to get it? And then how many months will it take um, before you start really getting good at it? Ken says, Ken, you know how long it takes. Come on, Ken. You've been doing it. You've been here for a while. Uh... Many, many months, Elaine says. And I'm bringing this up because I know everyone is here, wants to start out. They, they, you know, they get into the program and they just don't let it to take, uh, to take, take a, to take a chance. Slow learning, I, uh, a slow learner, I be. <laughs> well, listen, Ken, you've been here for a long time, right? You've been here for a long time, and you know we you know we you and I we always had conversations about it. And I said, listen, just take it, take it easy, take it easy, take your time, and then boom, look where you are. If you go back and look at your journals when you originally started, and this goes at anyone, see where you're at right now. Takes a while. Andrea says it took me about four to six months. Okay. So, um, but but remember, you know, and Ken, you know, for for you, you know, for, for everyone here, I mean, listen. A lot of people look up at certain traders in here. If it's if it's Ben, if it's Ken, if it's Andrea, you know, uh, you know, all these traders in here. It doesn't happen overnight. It didn't take you a month, right? So the most important advice that you just got to make one understanding, and I, and I, and I want to spend too much time on this because I want to go through the watches, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a lot about this um, in phase three. But the most important thing, the smartest decision 
that everyone makes is getting themselves educated and being part of the Cyber Training University program. Because, listen, this is not a sprint. It's a marathon, all right? You know, if you're here, I'll just use, I don't know, I'll tell you something new I'm doing myself. You know, I'm at an age right now. And I says, listen, I'm happy. I got a great wife, great, great family, you know, but now and I spoil myself and now I want to get myself healthy. I want to get in shape. And let me tell you, it's the same the exact thing. You're not going to you can't just go to the gym and lift weights for one day and think you're going to be you're going to make it and say, oh, and I want to be Mr. Universe. It takes months, if not years. So you can't do it in one day. You can't do it in a month. You know, so when it comes to trading, um, you got to be patient. The first month is very, very hard, very critical. And I know a lot of people get very overwhelmed and very, I hate to use the word jealous, you know, but it's like, like, damn, you made so much money on that trade. I wanted to make it. Listen, you can't go out there and think you're going to, you know, you're going to hit big. It's going to be there. Just remember what I always told everyone. The stock market's not going out of business. All right. Don't rush it. Be patient, work small shares, learn from your journals, see that you're consistent, learn why you lost money. Because let me tell you something, two to three months from now, you guys are going to be the most happiest, you know, most excited trader. And the biggest issue you're going to have, you're going to say, damn, I wish I found you, you know, when I first started 10 years ago, 20 years ago, Fausto, three years ago. Okay. But don't get yourself into a bad situation by get, by seeing these big fly runners like we're looking at right here a a r c i some of you guys killed it killed it yesterday but they're there every every single day every day i'm only bringing up this one i mean <laughs> what was the other one bpth where that go from thir 13 to 70 they're there all the time just be patient guys learn learn from the students be in the class you know, when you're supposed to be. And, um, you know, and even though it's, it's great that you get the archives, you can go back and review it, but sometimes you got a question and it's so much easier to explain it when you're in class. M most of your time, you need to focus on the lessons. Remember, when we trade, there's a very small window of opportunity to trade. It's only the first hour and the last hour, all right? So, um, well, thank you very much. And, you know, listen, we got a, uh, Fran just made a, uh, Made 21 cents uh, on RBZ. All right. You see that? There you go. Now, by the way, um, one last thing I just want to point up, uh, point out, because this is another thing that I want everyone else to know. And one of the biggest rules that we always preach, because we don't want to discourage new traders in the room, is you'll notice very rarely, if not any, we never tell you how much money we make. It's always up in points because Frank could have did a thousand shares or you could, or Frank could have did 10,000 shares or did 10 shares. Okay. The goal is to make a day's pay in points. Okay. Because we see somebody says, Oh, how do you, I want to make a thousand dollars a day. I want to make $1,500 a day, you know, but he could have did it with 10,000 shares. He could do it with one share. If that's not the goal, the goal is to make your day's pay in points. That's why we always show no one here saying, oh, I made this much money, that much money. It's always 21 cents, 70 cents, 30 cents, you know, and you could use the imagination of how many shares, but the goal is not to discourage young traders uh, versus veteran traders because we, we're all trading for the same goal to make those cents. All right. So sorry about taking that little time out there, but I just feel sometimes we need to go out there and, 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 and share our, our experiences and you know what? The hardest thing to do is get through the first month of trading. And a lot has to do with, with just bad old habits, you know? All right, so let's go talk about some of the stocks that traded yesterday. So obviously, we know about that one. Uh, another big winner we had yesterday, and this thing was just so damn strong, was the CPRX. That thing's been going from $3 the beginning of, uh, up until March. And you could see it just had a, a really held very strong there. In April and did a nice pop yesterday. That was a nice little winner right there. Also, pins, another one that's been doing phenomenal here. The stock has been a great, great IPO. Um, I actually just kind of went long on pins yesterday. I'm pretty upset because I wish I bought it sooner. And I wish, I, you know, but I was on vacation too. So I don't, I don't like to trade on vacation. But pins is doing really, really well, breaking all time highs. Uh, you know, this is what I was trying to tell you about the Lyft trade. Lyft, they just overpriced it. And it's funny because. We all know that Uber's coming out, 
And uh, Uber, I obviously want to see what's going on with Lyft. You got to remember about these companies too. You know, they don't have any profits, okay? They're losing. You know, I heard something really funny on, the, on, on TV. I was watching the financial stations. I want to share this out. You know how people are always saying that Amazon does not pay taxes? I don't know if anyone heard about that. This is, oh, Amazon's not paying any taxes, this and that. And I'm like, well, why is Amazon not paying taxes? Well, I'll tell you why they're not paying taxes. And someone actually explained it pretty well. They were carrying a loss. If you remember, I remember Amazon in 2000, when it first went public, it was trading at 3,000 times earnings, okay? They were losing money and losing money and like, okay, well, you know, listen, it's 19 years later. Now they're finally making money, but they have so many losses they're carrying over. And, you know, I just look at it. Could you imagine you, you lost your house, you lost your car, you lost everything, and then finally, you know, you got a job and now you're doing great. You hit lotto, whatever it is. And you didn't pay, you know, people are like, well, you're not paying taxes on it. And I'm like, yeah, because I lost my house and I'm, I'm carrying a loss. It's just like stocks, you know, you know, you could have a great year, but you know how many people here that are trading that have lost so much money in 2008 and you might not be paying taxes. You might say, oh, I'm up a quarter million dollars in trading. Oh, you're going to get killed in taxes. No, not necessarily because. You know, before I met Fausto at Cyber Trade University, I lost a quarter million back in 2000. So you're just carrying it over. So I just thought it was pretty interesting. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, these companies like Pinterest and, and, and Lyft and so on, hey, they're looking at what's going to happen five, ten years from now. So um, when you're seeing that, something to always know that there's always a reason why they're not paying taxes. Not that they have friends in Congress. It's just that they're carrying big losses over. So I thought that was a pretty good tip just to kind of share with you guys. With that. Whenever, whenever you hear that situation, I'm always wondering, like, how are they not paying taxes? Because they, they, they're carrying huge losses, just like Lyft is doing right now and, you know, and also Uber. Now, let's talk about what is moving this morning because there are a couple of stocks that are moving. Listen, it's Friday. I'm not really sold this morning. I didn't see a lot going on. There are a couple of stocks we do want to keep an eye on. I know this PT, this PETX is doing pretty well, up 37%. It's got great orders out here. Look at this. There's a look at these orders out here. Move this over right here. You got a 23,000 share buyer at uh, at four at 471. You got 10,000. So you got a lot of big iceberg orders out here holding this support level. So kind of like this stock right here. You could see them sitting there on the level two version. That one's not bad. The TEUM, that one also, oops, spelled it wrong, fat fingers, T-E-U-M. That one is uh, pretty decent. It's not up a lot. You know, it's up 8%, 180,000 shares. It's got a nice little trend going on. That one's not terrible. I like that one too. Yeah, that I didn't get to that one yet. The uh, RBZ, you know, uh, Glenn, yeah, that one. You know what? That's also stock. You could see it was $80 stock, got destroyed. This stock, a lot of you remember, we traded it not too long ago. We traded it when the stock was at about back in uh, the end of March. This stock went from like $12, $13, I think it was, and it went to almost $37 in one day. And then we traded this year. The stock's got a great short squeeze, but be very careful. Do not try to play the stock um, and think like, oh, it's going back to 80 the stock has a very it's you got a, it's got a fun short squeeze in it and and by the way another thing i'm going to bring up to also which this fellow student um, also had an issue he was trading stocks that were not in his level remember in phase 1 when we go over level 1 2 3 4 and 5 if you're not a level a level uh three trader and you're stuck on a level 1 you stick with level 1 stocks okay so um, just be very careful this is going to be probably in the 3 or 4 category all right now we all know the great news I'm so excited. Avengers finally is out. Um, I was going to go last night at 11 o'clock at night to go see one until 2 in the morning, and I found out it was three hours. But uh, the company got some great, great reviews. They said it's going to probably be one of the best movies you know, ever made, You know, as in revenues. They said it might get close to, uh, to Avatar as in revenues. So Disney is cleaning up. Now, you, know, th this, you can see Disney obviously has done really, really well. Um, you know, keep an eye on it. These movies, if it's a video game, you know, um, that, that you know, we know video games are, <laughs> I know we're adults, so a lot of people are like, really, video games? Yeah, these are billion-dollar industry. So anyway, they're expecting this company to probably make close to $2 billion a movie. So uh, Disney's going to do pretty well on it, and that's why the stock is uh, obviously keep a close eye on it.
Now, I know it's expensive, so you got to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, you got to be more an advanced trader, or you just got to be a, you know, you could do probably do a day trade options on it. Ford, you know, make a little bit of comeback. They came out with some good news after hours. A little bit of a brand name. Stock moves a little quickly. Don't let that stock uh, fool you because it does get it does get volatile. And then Intel took a huge hit yesterday. You could see it. They didn't do too well on their earnings announcements. So that one came pretty uh, came down. AKTX is the last one I think I had up there. Yeah, that one keep a close eye on it too. That one we we traded it, uh, four percent, one hundred seventy thousand shares. So that's what we got pretty much for for pre market. Other than that. You know, not not the greatest. Guys, it's the end of the month. Kids are still off from vacation from school, depending on where you are. Um, but, you know, my, my kids are off for, for Easter vacation, spring break uh, until Monday. So you're not going to, you know, you're not going to probably see that much action, you know. But listen, Friday afternoons, we've done pretty well. All right. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Michael says the PETX is a buyout, I think. Yeah, you know what? When you see a flat line, that's where it, and then probably what it is. Uh, I put a ton of Disney on Monday. Amazing week, Lee said. And listen, Lee, you know what? Like Disney, hate Disney. Personally, I don't like Disney. You know, I've been there. That park has been outdated. I go to Universal. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to trade the stock. You know, love the movie. So that has a lot to do with it. You know, it's going to help it out a lot. Ken says the RH, the RHE is moving. Yeah, that, there you go. Great call. Yes. Absolutely, R H E. Way to good. Way to go. Like that one. That's actually gorgeous right there. Beautiful stock. Nice call. Definitely worth watching. All right, guys. So sorry we went a little bit over beyond today's class. I want to get you guys ready. Marks open up less than ten minutes, but I do wanted to cover regarding about you know people not getting discouraged. Time and time, I'll come out there and we'll talk about it. But I'll spend a lot more time talking about it in phase three. And if you're not a student and of uh, Cybertrain University, listen. Make sure you talk to your education advisor. And they'll tell, a little bit, tell you a little bit more about it. Listen, you got to learn before you can earn. I know we're having some great runners. You could see trading is one of the best jobs in the world. You know, I, I love it. Pays a very good salary. But uh, listen, you're looking, in, you're looking to do this for, for the rest of your life, not for, the, for, not for the end of the week. All right? This ain't Vegas, guys. Enjoy. Happy trading. And uh, we'll see you back at 2.30. And don't forget about class. Okay, guys? Good luck today.